You have already learned that Jesus is God. He is the second person of the Trinity, the Son of God who left his throne in heaven to come to earth to save his people. But Jesus was also a real person whom you could see and touch. If you had lived in those days, you could have shaken his hand or joined him for a meal. As a baby, Jesus had to learn to walk and talk and needed to be fed and cared for like any young child. As God, Jesus was all-knowing, but as a young man, he had to learn and study God's word. Jesus experienced all of the troubles and challenges that life brings. Just like us, he got hungry, thirsty, and tired. He felt sad when hard things happened, and felt terrible pain and suffering on the cross before his death. But because of his great love for us, Jesus endured these trials and trusted God, his Father, through them all. Jesus has always loved his Father and the people he created in his image. From the time he was born, Jesus never sinned even once. He obeyed God the Father by obeying his parents and doing everything they told him to do. He never whined or complained when it was time to go to bed. He didn't steal or lie. He helped around the home, and he worked hard at his studies and with his earthly father, Joseph, in his carpenter shop. Imagine if Jesus had a chore chart to show how well he obeyed and did his chores. He would have check marks next to each and every chore. But even more amazing, he wasn't just good on the outside. He was good through and through. Even his thoughts were kind and loving. Once, when Jesus was 12 years old, his parents were upset because they didn't know where he was. But even then, he didn't do anything wrong. And eventually they found him in the temple, learning about God among the teachers. Jesus listened to his parents. And the Bible tells us that as he got older, he grew in wisdom, stature, and favor with God and man. Jesus knew in order to save us from our sin, he would have to obey in all things perfectly. And that is just what he did.